All right, I'll tell you what's going to happen when it heads back to the Valley. Instead of our Suns players seeing lots of Laker fans out there, the Lakers players are going to have to deal with a whole lot of Amaris and Nashes and other Suns stars staring back at them from the crowd. Suns plan to give away uh, lots of heads of the star players for the crowd to hang on to, about 1,200 in all, I am told about. 300 Amaris, 300 Nashes, you get the idea. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Amari has something kind of cool that he's going to be doing. He's actually going to be signing some of these and then hiding them around the valley, I am told. <laughs> I so like if you that. check his Twitter page... And his Facebook page, you're supposed to get hints on where you might be able to find those. He doesn't have it up just yet, but keep checking back because uh, I have it on good authority that okay. that is his plan. In your face. That's right. I like that. We need <laughs> exactly. Some you know, we need some, we need some overcome. I was going to dominate the game like he did last game. Your point, man, is that Benjamin's got to play better tonight or the Suns are not going to win. Amari was great. Steve was great. But if Benz does not play better tonight, they're not going to win this game. But the one thing that Amari has that is the, the advantage right now is Bynum not being in the lineup. Because he is the, the guy, when you go by Casal, the shot blocker. He protects the play. Hey, so now when he drives, Lamar Odom is not a shot blocker. He is not a, a defensive presence in there. Unless Bynum is in the game, I still think that he could dominate the series the way he dominated the Spurs three or four years ago, averaging like 35 points a game. He can do this again if there is no shot block in there. I don't know if you've checked over your shoulder or not, but there's a, a, a likeness of you. That, uh, that, was, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? No, I like that sign now, Ernie. Uh, Charlie Parker is a handsome hop. Wow. That, that lady's got potential right there. <laughs> Are I you sure? Really? Big hump. Oh, hey, oh, hey, quit hating, y'all. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, I had to sweep out for Eat your heart out, America. At least you had a tie on. That was one of those. That was a last time. Hold the clip on, Skinny. Back with more here in Phoenix right after this. Everybody's making a big deal out of it. Hey. He said, we gave up 65 points in the second half. That's why we lost the game. It was very nice to And Phil Jackson just said, we give up 65 points in a half, we're going to lose. Uh, Kobe had the greatest attitude and the greatest response. And we come to you just outside. U.S. Airways Center in Phoenix. With the same, with the same friends who are with us the other night. <laughs> and we welcome you, Ernie Johnson, along with Reggie Miller, Kenny the Jet Smith, and Charles Barkley. You're going to hear from them in just a second. The day off in this series here in Phoenix was filled with a lot of talk about Lakers head coach Phil Jackson. And, uh...